All right, um, this video we're actually going to use modifiers. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a modifier is in Tractor, if you go to your MIDI mapping and go to add in at the bottom, you'll see modifier and you have eight of those in Tractor. And each one of those can have up to eight different states, um, which you can get into after you. Uh, do a little bit more digging. I'm not going to run over that in this video, but um, the reason I bring up a modifier, uh, what basically a modifier is in its easiest form is a if-then statement. Like, if this is true, then this is true. Uh, like, say we set a modifier, and then we want to use that modifier. Like on my uh, Oxygen 49 keyboard, I have a pedal. That's why I've named this one pedal. And it's a boss foot pedal that latches. So when I push it down the first time, the pedal latches and it leaves the uh, button on in hold and it sets it to a value of one. So what I've done on my keyboard is I've been able to double map everything into something else by first making one mapping and making it where the modifier one equals zero. So when the if the modifier one equals zero, then those buttons act a certain way. Now when I hit the pedal, the modifier 1 turns into a modifier with a value of 1. Then all the buttons have another function. Um, and what we're going to do in this video is make a uh, button mod just out of a regular button that'll toggle. And what that will do is when you punch it once, it turns the modifier on. When you punch it again, it turns it off. And what we're going to use that for is to make the beat slicer settings from the beat slicer fun videos um, where you don't have to hold them down where if you turn the modifier on you're going to press one button uh, press one of the slicer buttons then it'll just stay on you don't have to hold it down and if you want to change the setting you just push one of the other slicer buttons and that'll change the values like it would if you were holding them down but like I said you don't have to hold them down um, and that way you can turn it on and off and have the best of both worlds uh, and I will tell you in a sec how to just do it if you don't want to have to hold them down ever you it's, don't have to have a modifier for that but we're going to run over that I thought I'd do a little basic information on modifiers uh, this is kind of using it like a caps lock on a keyboard where when you punch it things act differently um, you can also set it up where you have to hold that button down in order for that to happen you don't uh, like on this one uh, with this one, it's one where I've made two actually, so that's one that will toggle because we're going to make two of the same modifier with some different conditions, and I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do on this video is do a modifier that toggles on and off, kind of like a caps lock, and uh, what that will do for us, and uh, somebody asked the question about how do I get the beat slicer settings from the beat slicer fun video to just stay on where I don't have to hold the keys down, um, and you can achieve that. A couple of ways you can actually um, just change any of the values that have like for example this effect button 2 in hold you're going to want to duplicate that button or not duplicate it I'm sorry just change the action from hold to direct 1 and the same with the effect on for each slicer like I've uh, just got the slicer 9 values mapped here and anything that has the action of hold, like the effect unit on in the mixer, the effect on, and uh, the effect button 2 there, you just change those to direct 1. So when you hit the button, it's just going to stay on. And if you change all the slicer values that way, um, it'll just change the values and stay on. And to turn the unit off, you'll need a button, like maybe you've already got one, to turn your effects unit on and off, and just turn the effects unit off with that button. Now, what I've done is I like to have it both ways, where I can do quick hits where you have to hold the button down, or I can uh, turn on a modifier and change the action to the direct one or where it just stays on and you can move hit the buttons but it doesn't turn the slicer off when you pull your hand away um, so first thing we're going to do and just to keep things uh, uncluttered I just did the slicer 9 values here um, is to make a modifier that toggles on and off and the way we'll do that is we're going to add in and I'm just going to use modifier 1 if you have other modifiers already used on your um, controller then you're going to want to use one of the other ones that aren't being used but I'll just use modifier one here and learn and I'm going to just punch the button that I want to be my modifier that changes the behavior of the beat slicers okay and what I'm going to name this modifier is slicer hold since what it's going to do for me is just make change the settings of my slicers now um, what we want here 
it's the modifier but we're actually going to make it where when modifier 1 which is itself is equal to 0 we want to be in button and direct and when it's 0 we want it to be equal to 1 Oop, sorry just need to do that with the mouse there we go and we're also going to actually duplicate this modifier in the same exact button punch it again with learn on but this time when the modifier is equal to 1 we want the value to be 0 and what that does is makes a modifier that toggles on with one push and off with the second push and on and off just like a caps lock would alright now to do this with the beat slicers I'm actually going to add in a few more things um, we're going to actually for the same button you use for the modifier we're going to add in the effects panel mode global of course leave, you can leave learn on use the same button you're using for the modifier and I'm also going to name that slicer hold Oop, that's slice 9 yeah, did I? I think I just did slice 9 on the other one and I need to change that also right nope slicer hold okay one sec all right now just leave it on and we want this to be active when the modifier is on so nope sorry this is the modifier and we don't need any of this yep zero okay now to start back over <laughs> what we are mapping is the effects panel mode so we learn we've hit our button and we want it to be button direct and single and for whatever effect unit you're using for the slicers now we're going to add in the effects unit on in the mixer so whichever effect unit of course you're using learn we're using the same button we use for the modifier still and we're naming those slicer holds so we know that's what's happening we want it to be in button direct and we want it to turn it on all right and now we're also going to do the effect select so we're going to add in for the single effect select same button name it slicer hold button direct and of course the beat slicer we're also going to add in the um, FX on in the unit but not for the reason you think we are we're going to put the FX single effect on learn same button for the as we've used for the modifier and name it slicer hold again and button direct but we want this to make sure it is off we don't want it to turn on and the reason is um, without putting it okay now the uh, last thing I'm going to do is also add in for effect single the dry wet so it'll set it up there we go all right same button we've used for the modifier slice or hold and button direct and we want that to be all the way on okay now that's our modifier now for each slicer you're gonna have to change anything I guess making sure we're starting up here with slicer 9 anything that has the the hold option here we want to change it to direct one or we actually want to make another one this one's going to work when the modifier is not on so let's duplicate that learn and you want it to actually be the same exact key you're using for the slicer when the modifier is not on and you can just add so you know this is the one that you use for the hold action just slicer 9 hold so you don't have to hold it actually you could put slicer 9 modifier maybe would make more sense well sorry trying to change it I'm just gonna put mod 
That way I can be a little easier to type. Now, we want this to only be active when modifier is on. So M1 needs to equal 1. We want that to be button, direct, and 1, and still on device target. So the next thing that has the action of hold, we just did the effect unit on, so we want to do the effect on and duplicate that. Same button we use for the slicer. Change our name to slicer mod. Of course, we want this to only be active when the modifier is on. So we're going to change it to button direct and one. All right, the next thing we have in hold is effect button two. And that'll be the last thing because the parameters will be fine. They can change whether the modifier is on or off. But from this with hold, we're going to duplicate that also. Same slicer 9 button. The modifier has to be active for that to work. We want it to be button direct and 1. So it turns it on and leaves it on. Okay. Now what you'll do, I just did it for slicer 9. You're going to have to go through all the beat slicer settings and anything that has the action of hold, you're going to need to duplicate it. Um, assign it to the same exact key that you have the others for that same slicer setting. And then, just like I did, uh, make sure it's a direct one. Okay? And once you do that and have them all set up, all you have to do is hit your slicer hold modifier key. And then when you hit one of the slicer uh, values, one of the buttons, it will uh, just stay on. You don't have to hold the key down, and you can change it just by pressing the other keys. And to turn everything off, you would hit the slicer hold button again. And that would put them back to their other use of just uh, quick hits, you know, where you have to hold the button down if you want to uh, do more than one. Okay? And I'll show you how that works. I'll show you real quick what this does. Um, I have my slicers mapped at this end of the keyboard down here, and I have the slicer hold modifier up here. So if we get this playing and uh, hit record, then we can uh, sync this up hopefully later. And one second, let me make sure my record's up and recording. All right. Now, what we're going to do is just play it with the normal way the slicer. Um, Beat Slicer Fun video was done where you have to hold them down. Then I'll hit the slicer hold and play with that for a minute. Here we go. All right, now we turn the slicer hold on. Get it. Nope, sorry. Another thing, now we we'll turn the slicer hold on. Now it's continuing to play. If you want to change it up, you get another button. And to turn it off, hit the slicer hold again. So you can have your cake and do it both ways, quick hits, or hit slicer hold and let her rip. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video.